All right, there it is. The enemy has been sighted. There is a cougar roaming awful close to us right now, you guys. And I think that we're going to have to send Holly out to defend her cubs and make sure that Honey and Brutus, her bear cubs, her black bear cubs, who are doing really well at growing, getting quite fat and almost adults themselves, don't end up getting taken away from us at the very last moment. So let's keep an eye out. We're going to have to watch for where that sneaky catamount has gone to. There she is. Oh, look, and she hit this little bird. I'll feed that to the children in a little bit. Can I possibly perfect pounce on this one? <gasps> we got it by surprise! You guys, how awesome was that? We were able to defend our children from this big catamount. I'm a little sad about that. Is that an eagle or a vulture? Holy moly. Well, we did it. We fought, we fought the cougar. I'm a little sad. <laughs> I'm going to stop looking at it now and just feed it to our babies, but um, we did it. So that was not nearly as hard as I thought it was. Maybe we could take on the great gator or we might be able to fight the giant grizzly bear. But hello everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Force Simulator with Siri, the pixel biologist, who always tries to provide a little insight into the real life animals that we are playing as as we play. And we are here with our black bear family and we are almost to the point. We did that, I thought that eagle just fell dead from the sky and it startled me but we're almost to the point is that a hawk instead oh it's a hawk all right all right let's go ahead and get it come on brutus when our babies are old enough to take care of themselves and actually old enough to go and become independent adult black bears and yes brutus is a black bear even though his coat is not black as you guys know from previous episodes uh brutus is a cinnamon black bear and so he is uh, a different color but he is still considered a black bear Oh no, we have upset the snail army. Return of the snail army. What have I done? Why? Hang in there, Brutus. You can do this. Oh, it's so adorable. Why does it have to be? Why does it have to be so cute when it's also so ridiculous? Oh, I can't handle this. All right, Brutus, I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll stop letting you get hurt by things. And we'll scooch over here and we'll drop the snail and eat it before the snail army comes to join. Oh, the ranks. The snail army is back. Defend ourselves. Defend ourselves from their numbers. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. All right, so we're going to let him enjoy a little bit of escargot. Mm, let's back up a little bit. Where'd that snail go? Mom took the snail. Rude, Holly. And our last quest that we have to do with Holly, other than raising her babies to level 10 so that they hit adulthood, is taking her so that she can find the golden egg. So we're going to see if we can figure out somewhere up in the mountains where that golden egg that has been part of a quest for forever is hiding so hopefully she can complete that and just have that kind of checked off of her black bear list of things to do in life uh it's a little tricky to get up into the mountains but i think we found the tiny little mountain pass right here i'm super grateful that i'm starting to figure out how to do that by the way oh look and there's those boars fantastic i wonder what the group name is for a gathering of boars uh this guy doesn't even care that we're right here oh i thought that was a different bear and not our child brutus you scared me you've grown up so much i didn't even recognize you my boy all right so let's see brutus needs to be the one to hit level nine next so he gets to have the main bit of the meat right over here there we go. And last time, his sister Holly actually managed to defeat... Oh, yeah. Defeat a... Um, defeat a deer, a white-tailed deer. So it's a good thing that he was able to prove his stuff right now by uh, going ahead and pouncing on a boar. So good job, Brutus. You're proving that you are almost ready, nice and strong, to go out there in the wild. So let's check what Holly's points are. Holly is the only one we would end up seeing again uh, and playing so she could have like a second cub litter with, unless you guys wanted for some reason to pick Brutus or maybe pick Holly for that. We can always do a vote. I love voting with you guys and seeing how our wild animal stories will go. <gasps> Holly, there it is. She gets to collect the last golden egg. I'm so proud of her. I'm gonna let her go ahead and eat something uh, on her own instead of having to share it with the kids. Maybe that little bit of grass to celebrate so that she can also level up. The higher the levels we go, the more things we get to unlock for next time we play as the black bears with different skins or the more things we get to unlock with all of the animals we can play as. So I'm gonna let her dig up this, this dirt pile, try to find a little bit of food. Is it gonna be another return of the snails? No, it's something really small and tiny. I think it's like a little beetle. Hey, hey you, there we go. All right, is he gonna be enough to level me up? 
Oh my gosh, so close. Hey kids, there we go. Snuggled with Brutus for a second. Leveled up Holly, fantastic. She's got a little bit more dexterity now. I think she's pretty uh, quick on her paws now that she's been having to defend her babies so much. But now we need to find a den so that Holly can claim that quest. So the nearest den to us is actually behind us and back up by the haunted, it's the haunted den. The one that constantly has all of the, um, the carcasses just floating in the air. So we're going to turn around and head back towards that den so we can complete Holly's mission and thus complete one of the big goals that she had in life. But we'll search around for food while we go, of course, and we will try to get Honey and Brutus leveled up. But man, I'm super excited because if we come to the point where... Um, you know, we finish raising them to level 10 today. That means we get to do the vote. That means soon we get to vote on what animal we are going to be playing as next. Oh, there's a bit of honey. I see it. It's hiding between the tree and the boulder. I'm going to go let honey get it if she can. Oh, man, it's really hiding, you guys. Look at that. Good eye, honey. Oh, she's going to fall down. That was adorable. And she found some honey of her very own to eat. Fantastic. But I'm really excited because, yeah, it does mean that we will get to be able to hold the vote and you guys will decide what kind of animal we should play as next in this awesome ultimate forest. All right, let's go ahead and eat this. And that means my favorite. That means getting to learn some more about the creatures that are here, too. And I'm always super big on that because I love learning more facts about the wildlife. You never know what has been updated. You never know what you may discover that you, you haven't known. I'm 29 now, and the ability to look things up and just find answers to questions that I, I just popped into my head. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. There we go. There we go. And that's why I love playing this, because now I get to wonder just how often is it that a catamount like that, beautiful, beautiful white color, by the way, and a black bear might run into each other? How often do their territories overlap? Who usually concedes in that kind of battle and goes, no, no, I don't want to fight, and backs off? So I would love to learn answers to those kinds of things, too. All right, we'll let Honey eat a little bit of the plant matter there. And then let's see, we need to get up one more level, but I know the path is on the other side of this river. We've learned a lot. Oh, honey, you're so short. You have to swim across this. This is so cute. But we have learned a lot about what it takes to actually uh, survive here in this area, thanks to our black bear family. So I'm very grateful to them for that. Let's see if I can wiggle up the last little bit. This may be tricky. I think there's an easier path, but we went the other way. That's fine. And is our den right over here? It should be somewhere. <gasps> More honey! How are you so good at finding this honey, honey? I didn't even, I, I didn't expect that when I gave her that name. It's just really cute. There we go. Knock down the honey. And we'll go ahead and eat it. There we go. And let's see, we'll get her over to the den. It's getting pretty late. We should be near the den. I see wolves in the distance. Unless, do we have to go up one more level? I think we do. Wow, that waterfall is huge! Yeah, here's our den! Oh, that makes me happy. It's really hard to tell if it's ours since it's missing the floating carcasses after all. But this is indeed where we belong. There's bats flying over the water up ahead of us. That's so cool. Look at that. There's a bat just laying on the ground right there. That's the best. All right. And let's bring Holly over. And I think she should be able to claim her quest now. Yay. There you go, Holly. I hope that worked. Um, I think we scooched too quickly. There we go. Yay! All right. So that's fantastic. I'm really happy that Holly managed to do that. Let's go ahead and sleep a little bit longer. Woo! Bear butts. Didn't mean to do that. There's some grass in the distance. I want to wake up now. And it's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So let's see. Holly is pretty close to leveling up. Brutus is pretty close to leveling up. I think, uh, honey, I mean, not Holly. Good Goodness gracious. There's just so many bears. <laughs> that's what I get for giving her an H name just like her mom. And we can feed some of them uh, their experience just off of the huge, huge amounts of food that we happen to have collected. I think that's a really interesting mechanic. I don't really understand it. So if you guys get that part of the game, why we just like have food at our den, is that because of the hunting we've done? Like what gives you more food? What determines the type of food that you get? Is this all just like snail meat? Is that is that what's going on over here? 
Hmm, and there's a little bat on the ground. Gosh, they're going to be so cute, but so hard to find when we play as a bat. So let's see, Brutus, and then Honey. So we need to feed Brutus just a little bit more. But yeah, I think we're almost there, you guys. Uh, so probably, let's see if we can do this. I, I think we can do this. I think if we make some really smart choices with what to hunt now, we may be able to actually level these guys up all the way and have them be ready to be big adult black bears moving on, making a life of their own. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Brutus, I'm gonna miss Honey. But like I said, uh, maybe instead of playing as Holly next time, if you guys want, uh, well, next time we play as a black bear that is, if you guys want, we could actually end up playing as Brutus or we could end up playing as Honey and that could be really fun too. But I'm gonna go ahead and let Brutus eat a little bit over here. And let's see if we can quickly get him leveled up. There's some delicious looking strawberries down here. Just an amazing abundance of food all over the place when you're a black bear. Imagine how hard this would be if you were just a meat eater. Then all of these delicious berries would mean nothing. But this fox might mean something. Uh, a fox is another great example of another omnivore though. Ah, oh, defend yourself, Brutus. Come on, buddy. Come on, you've got this. Why is this squirrel jumping into the fight? Was it like a friend of the fox? That makes no sense. What are you doing? Here, I'm gonna start healing Brutus. All right, there we go. That makes no sense why that squirrel is just like, no, the fox, the fox. We're so close. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. They're gonna become adults. Oh, it's a bittersweet moment. It always is when they're ready to leave the nest or in this cave, in, in this case, leave the haunted cave. All right, let's see. And I've got both of those beetles. Come on. There we go. And we'll go ahead and eat these guys. Brutus, you're doing good. And Holly, or Honey, excuse me, is so close to leveling up too. So let's see. Is there something else we can kind of fight? Maybe eat off of? There's some honey. Oh, there's a bunny. Brutus, are you fast enough for a bunny? Nope, not fast enough to catch a bunny. He's probably, oh, there's some wolves. Not quite what I had planned, but hey, let's try this out. I'm going to send Mama off to come over here and let's have her. Oh my gosh, there we go. All right, there's one wolf. Sorry, wolf lovers. It's not personal. It's literally just because I need to feed my own children. All right, whoa, that's a strong wolf too. Level 20, there we go. All right, and Brutus has a little bit of food that's really, really scary. Zipping off to join the ancestors in the stars. That was kind of amazing. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and feed him. And we're gonna go ahead and dig in this spot. And let's see, is there any food here? No, it doesn't look like there's any food here. And we'll have Holly start healing up as well. So I'm gonna leave her, there we go, to heal. And then we'll have Honey come over and eat this other wolf. Sorry, wolf lovers. It's the cycle of life. It's how the apex predators keep from outnumbering themselves too much. Uh, and that's the balance. And we talk about that a lot in our zoo crafting series too. Keeping, and especially Taito Ecology, because that's the entire point of Taito Ecology. But keeping a balanced ecosystem is super hard hard to do and predators in the trade-off for the fact that they are able to do really really well with eating everything i am the bunny killer except i'm too slow to get that bunny uh, but the trade-off of being a great predator and having access to the energy that meat would give you as a predator is that you're also an apex predator and there may not be enough food resources for you or there's a lot of incentive from other creatures to perhaps make sure that um you and your children don't survive because they don't want to die they want to they want to survive to eat and live and breathe and have lots and lots of babies another day. So that's biologist theory talking again. I tend to wax into my like teacher prof profession that I used to do when I play in this game because I'm so excited to have the the things that I can point at and go, yes, look, there's, oh, look, there's this little, oh, I fit in it. That's so cute. That's so cute. So Honey is enjoying the, her last moments of childhood more or less and she's gonna get ready skimming across the water that's so cute <laughs> skimming across the water on a giant lily pad how cool is that let's have her do that again in the morning i'm gonna try to get her okay we'll get her off this lily pad we'll get away from looking up close and personal at her bare butt there we go we're gonna ignore the howling of wolves in the distance 
and we will let them play on the lily pads and possibly eat food from the family den to level up so let's see is this gonna be it is this gonna be it okay everybody oh yeah look even uh honey is increasing in her experience just a little bit when we do that so we should be able to level up pretty soon i want to sleep till the daytime so i can really see and maybe get one last good glimpse of honey riding on those lily pads enjoying her childhood life that way all right and can we do it yes oh it's so cute why is this the best thing ever but it is it truly is all right let's pull back got a good glimpse of her look at her go you guys look at her go She's a beautiful, beautiful black bear cub, about to turn into a big, strong black bear. And uh, she's just she's just playing on a lily pad, because that's what she does. Oh, she's even laying down on it. That's so cool. You go, you go, Holly, you go. Or honey, excuse me. <laughs> and her brother, Brutus, they are spending their last moments as bear cubs, splashing and playing around. That is so cute. All right, so let's switch over to honey. Uh, wait, wait, no, we already are playing as honey. It's just confusing when you're on a lily pad. And I'm going to have them run over here. And I think if we just eat from the den, we should be able to have them level up and just kind of have like a nice little family feast where they can all hang out and snuggle and roar and growl at each other and do all those things we normally don't do. And that'll let us like we'll snuggle with Brutus. And there we go. She's level 10. Just like that. <gasps> Honey, I can't believe she's already grown up that quickly. And let's have her brother go ahead and grow up as well. So we'll go ahead and eat a little bit of the food. Gain a little bit of experience. We'll play with our sibling. We'll praise, roar, establish dominance. We can wrestle. We'll play with her. Apparently we wrestled her right onto her side. We weren't going to worry about that. <laughs> Gosh, they, they're so hilarious when they start just jumping all over the place. We'll go ahead and like wrestle and feast and just have a great time, eat some nice food, just really peaceful ways to finally be able to level up. So Brutus is almost there. He was always the slower cub, always taking a little bit longer to kind of reach adulthood. There we go. Snuggle and praise. Established dominance. Almost there. Almost there. And last moments. Almost. There we go. All right, you guys. That was it. These two are ready to go. Holly has done an amazing job. She has helped them to survive to adulthood. So now, uh, you know, Honey and Brutus are going to get ready to go and they are going to have to go and be part of the wider world out there. And it is going to be up to you guys to help me vote on uh, who's going to be next. We're going to have to make our decisions. So I think next time we'll talk about the voting. We're not going to do the voting this particular time because I think what I want to do is we'll let the family have one last day of traveling together now that they are all adults. And what we'll do is we will allow Holly to hit two more levels, hopefully, next time. We'll try to make that happen so that we have the raccoon available for voting as well. I think I may pick between like three or four creatures, but I'm going to try to open up the raccoon since we're so close to that. And then we will vote to see what creature we are going to be playing as next week, next time. And we'll be starting their own unique family, and I'm really excited about that. So we're very, very, very close. We're just going to focus completely on Mama Bear. We're going to focus on getting her to level 20 so that she'll also unlock the very last of the bear skins and we can also unlock the raccoon and then we'll be doing our voting and figuring out who we are going to be playing as next and what amazing things we are going to be learning about their wild lives so i'll see you guys next time Bye bye